The quest for the perfect picture is getting a little bit out of hand at two of the North Bay's most popular tourist spots. Drones are buzzing by the Golden Gate Bridge on Sausalito's waterfront, and it's becoming dangerous. ABC 7 News reporter Amy Hollyfield is live in Sausalito. Amy. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, what a beautiful place to fly a drone, right? But police went to city council here in Sausalito and said they needed some help, that people were flying their drones inappropriately and that they needed some restrictions put in place. <laughs> flying a drone can be fun, even helpful. But Sausalito city leaders have noticed a dark side that comes with the hobby. Residents have complained that some drones are being used to follow them as they walk down the street or worse. One case where a drone was at the window of a house with a young woman changing clothes, and then one instance where one went in a doorway and down the hallway, video manned. Police pointed out they didn't have a law on the books to protect citizens from this harassment. The city council took action and is close to enacting new regulations to restrict drone use. Uh, not flying uh, above 400 feet, not flying within 25 feet of people, not following or filming people without their consent, um, obviously not going into people's houses. They are following the lead of a major landmark in Sausalito, which was also dealing with drone issues. Hobbyist amateur drone operators do lose control of their drones. We've had them crash onto the roadway, crash onto the sidewalks, crash onto the struts of the towers, and it's just dangerous. Bridge district officials took matters into their own hands and declared the bridge a drone-free zone, but they're calling for the federal government to step in to this new frontier. It's kind of the Wild West, so we have a total ban on drones at the Golden Gate Bridge. What we need is for Congress to step up and to improve the legislation around drones so that we can keep the bridge and the areas around it safe. The city council here in Sausalito voted five to zero in favor of this new law. Next week, they'll have another read through. If it still stands, then this law could go into effect within the next month.